The Assets window is the place to organise your scene's assets and compositions. Assets can be images, audio, vector artwork, fonts and data like CSVs or Google Sheets. To import an asset, use the File menu and select Import Asset, or you can double-click directly in the window. You can then navigate to an asset on your file system and click Open to import it. You can also drag assets from your file system directly into the Assets window. When you import an asset, you'll see a drop-down at the bottom with some options to filter for certain file types. By default, this is set to Any. This setting will automatically detect any image sequences that may exist in the directory and import them as a sequence. If you want to import a single image from a sequence, choose the Any Still option. You'll notice these labels that provide you with some relevant information and selecting an asset will also display a preview of its file path at the bottom of the window. To import a Google Sheet, you can either use the File menu or simply right click and select Import Google Sheet. Paste the URL of your sheet into the pop-up dialog and hit OK. Once you have an asset imported, there are several ways you can put them to use. In the case of images, SVGs, audio and data, you can simply drag them into the viewport. This will create the appropriate element and automatically connect your asset. You can also drag assets and drop them onto elements in the attribute editor. For example, here we are adding an image to an image shader on a shape. You can also create compositions by using the Create Composition button here. You can organize your assets in hierarchies. Simply drag and drop an asset onto another, or hitting Ctrl or Command and G will group any selected assets or compositions. Note that a composition cannot be apparent to anything else. To delete an asset, simply select and hit delete on your keyboard or use the trash icon on the bottom right of the window. Finally, you can search the asset window. Just click in the search box and start typing.